Hello everybody! Welcome back to Soma. We are just outside of Omicron trying to make our way into the area. No idea why my screen is kind of going a little bit nuts here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's very very faint but it, it kind of is getting fuzzy like I would if I was encountered an enemy. It's kind of odd. Anywho, we got the power up and running, so now we have to investigate the uh, computers to try and get Omicron open. So let's listen to this first. This was on the 16th of January, which is fairly recent if I'm to understand. Hoover, do we have any painkillers left? This tinnitus is becoming crippling. Sorry, we only have heavy stuff left. Morphine level drugs. I'll take it. Feels like my head is about to explode. Can do, that's stuff for emergencies. Besides, Cameron thinks the ringing will settle when JR reaches 100%. Then tell him to hurry the fuck up! Should be a matter of hours. Just hang in there. Keep me posted. Yeah, well, um, I have this thing I need to take care of, so I'll talk to you later, okay? Sure thing, Herb. He must have overloaded his black box. Humans have black boxes? Here we do, company policy. It records your vitals to help medical personnel treat you in case of accidents. That's how I can hear the dead. Right. Yeah, you should be able to data mine black boxes, just like the intercom at Theta. Right, okay, so last video I was trying to get that piece of dialogue from her by examining this corpse, but I guess you have to actually uh, look at this radio buffer and listen to this piece of audio. Uh, maybe this is Galeski. I know she doesn't know who this is, but it would make sense that it was Galeski since he was stationed here, it, it seems like, but there's no way to really know for sure. So you can see here that it's still quarantined. There has to be a way to cancel the lockdown. Have a look around the room. And we're going to have to cancel that lockdown in order to get inside, obviously, but we don't know the code, so we'll have to look at the uh, other computer screen. It's also interesting to note that on the audio log, I didn't see a closed, uh, a closed caption for the people on the tape. It seemed to work on uh, the data mining, but not in actual audio tapes, which is interesting. Alright. Uh... Are you hearing that glitched noise? Yeah, what is that? Did you do that, Catherine? What? Never mind. The fuck? Okay, well I'm gonna look at that in a minute. This here is how we get our code. But if we want to look at the status of the black boxes, we can see that they are all offline. So something went really really badly at Omicron if literally none of the black boxes are working because up to this point the black boxes have worked for pretty much every major corpse that we've come across so it's very interesting I wonder what happened they were obviously overloaded for some reason or another and we can have a look at some of the so if we if we look at the dates of the system uh, updates, it looks like people are working at Pathos 2 for at least six years before the comet hit the Earth. So they were here in uh, 2098. Heather Wolchek was doing updates to enable the black boxes. Uh, most of this is just like nonsense. We don't really, you know, need to look at these. It doesn't really give us anything. Um, interesting, but the the dates are interesting to note because I very rarely have we found any audio logs, any text logs, really anything that's any sooner than 2103. So it's kind of cool to confirm that these guys were probably set up down here um, away from the surface for years and years before the uh, impact event happened because I had that question at the start of the game I was asking myself if these guys were sent down here as uh, like an emergency group of survivors to keep life going or if they were down here for years before and it seems like they were down here for years before 
So, uh... Let's look at this here. And this is going to be your code. I think I solved it. Solved what? Why don't we get the feeling that we just got lowered into the back of a van? What are you talking about? And it's random every single time, by the way. It will just generate a random code for you. So you want to put the code in. It's usually something incredibly easy to remember. And it will activate the gate and it will lift the quarantine. Look at that. Omicron retracted the quarantine shutters. Lockdown canceled. Something wants us to come inside. And we want to go inside. What's the problem? Come on, let's get going. Yeah, that's easy for you to say, Catherine. You're inside the Omni tool. I gotta fight my way through all this shit. But I guess in a way she's also right, and I hate to admit that she's right, but uh, if we're gonna get some help, then uh, I guess that's okay. So now that the power's back on, we can swipe the Omni tool here and it will allow us to uh, fill this area with water, which will allow us to go back down. We don't have to do the whole puzzle over again with the override. And before we actually go into Omicron, there's two things that I want to have a look at. The first is our last corpse. So if you turn around and you go past our friend Strasky there on the left, then you just kind of hug the right a little bit. You can actually see the corpse we're looking for directly in front of us right here the world is dead Richard even if we got inside Omicron what's left grab a couple suits and head for Tau Strasky Jonesy Hart everyone is dead and we are right behind them we're probably the last people left alive. The last moments of mankind. <sighs> no oxygen left. Better sit down. I don't want to fall into the abyss. There are worse ways to die. Probably. Why do they call you Em? Huh? Oh, it's for Emma. Emma Alvaro. Yeah, I like that. It's a good name. We should have hung out more. I think we would have made good friends. Thanks. I would have liked that. Goodbye, Emma. Bye. And that's the end of that. That is just absolutely depressing as fuck. I mean, what else was she supposed to do? Like she said, she's out of oxygen, they couldn't get into Omicron, all their friends are dead, they literally watched Vanessa, Jonesy, and Strasky all die one by one in front of them. So, uh, yeah, she just basically sat down, gave up, and died. I... I don't think you can find the corpse of Richard? I mean, it's hard to tell who is who just by looking at the suits, but I would assume that this is Emma's corpse. Um, so out of the five people that were out here, you can find the corpses of four of them. And I do believe that Richard and Emma would have been the last ones to die, so... Yep, very sad. The robot is uh, activated now. He's up and about. I don't think this one talks. Nope, he's just gonna wander around. Uh, and the other thing I wanna do before I go into Omicron is I wanna see if I can look at these dome things. What the hell are these? So these were supposed to be holding different species of fish? 
Hold on. Huh. I, I don't know what purpose that would serve. Again, I like to think that they're like just giant balls of light or water, underwater landmines or something, but I guess that these would have held species of fish for whatever reason. All right, well, I guess my curiosity is sated. Kind of underwhelming. So enough digging around, let's go on ahead and get inside of Omicron. Not that I want to, because if it was quarantined, there's probably a very good reason why. And uh, I'm not quite sure that I want to figure out why. But we've got to. We don't have a choice. So going in the easy way is just not going to work for us. There has been a malfunction with the door. And so we're going to have to go the long way around. And again, we're going to have to do some more jumping in a game that uh, was not built for platforming. But it's not so bad. You're going to want to come to this kind of broken, busted down area, which looks totally safe, to the right of the main door. And you can kind of follow the uh, pipes be the right way. and whatnot around to find out where you need to go. Now, fun fact, when I first played the game, I went down here first. And, uh, yeah, once I got over here and realized I couldn't get back, <laughs> I just jumped into the abyss because there was like literally nothing else I could do. I mean, I think you can make it back if you've come this way by mistake, but for some reason, I don't know, I maybe I fell or I couldn't figure out how to get back up there. Because if you try to come back here before you lift the... Uh, quarantine and get the door open there will be a bunch of metal bars across this door and you won't be able to enter so this area is only accessible after you find out that the main door doesn't work but thank god this place had a alternate entrance am I right? we'd be pretty screwed otherwise Any day now, game. Let's find that suit and get out. Thank you. Oh, hello. Well, uh, that probably explains why uh, we can't data mine these guys as black boxes. They don't have heads. So although it's well explained and it makes sense as to why Simon can't uh, data mine any of these guys, it's kind of disappointing because I really enjoy this aspect of the game of looking at the corpses and finding out what had happened to them or finding out pieces of the story. And there's very, very little of that at Omicron. We're still going to find some data buffers. We're still going to find text logs and things like that. But... Nope, uh, no one here has a head, so we need to go to the dive room in order to be able to uh, get this area up and running because remember the whole area is in lockdown, not just the outside but the inside as well. So pretty much everything is going to be locked until we find a way to get everything unlocked. And this is another very big area. Not as big as uh, Theta, but we're going to be here for quite a while as well. Now in this case, closed captioning kind of uh, spoils some stuff, I guess. 
uh, because it gave us a name of that thing talking to us, which you may not know if this is your first time playing. So I may decide to turn off the closed captioning just for the sake of avoiding some spoilers. Because I didn't really think about that. So this is the med bay. And I don't think there's really anything of interest in here, but I'll open a couple of drawers and just have a look just to make sure. There is going to be some stuff to look at, but I don't think we really get into the juicy stuff until we start really looking around the facility and opening up some of the other doors. but you can go through the medical bay there, straight ahead through this hallway, and then this is the dive room. Here's a broken Omni tool on the uh, table here. This is a power suit document, which we found back in the lab at uh, Theta. So we we've already seen this. It's basically just telling us how to use the suits that we are going to be using. Here is a picture of Catherine and some of the other uh, ARC team members in the power suits. And what is this? Let's have a look. The ARC team checklist. The power suits were tested and ready. Omicron scans are in the ARC. Oh, that's nice. She was able to scan all the people into the arc before their heads blew off. Uh, the equipment is loaded and they have extra rations. The climber has been calibrated. The crane operator is ready. And they were picked up and they must have moved along, obviously. So there you go. Let's go ahead and plug Catherine in here and see what she has to say. You think we'll find one that fits me? I mean, I'm kind of in a suit already. That's been bothering me too. You know how you were transferred from Vancouver? Toronto. From then to now. How could I forget? Okay, so we do it again. You want to send me to the future? No, you idiot. I want to transfer your mind into a new body. What? Look, we already know it can be done. We don't need to make it a big deal. It is a big deal, Kath. It's a huge fucking deal. There's got to be something else that can take us down there. But Dunbat at Theta was the only vessel that could take that pressure, and you saw what happened. Then think of something else. Simon, please. You don't have to switch this instant. Just play along for now. If we find something else, then great. If not... I'm not promising anything. Thank you, Simon. Have a look around the room. This is where they would keep the power suits, if there are any left. It's at this point that I get... A little bit frustrated with Simon because I don't know how many times Catherine has to explain the concept of what he is to him before he gets it because he still doesn't get it and he's still not accepting of it and we're pretty late into the game it's kind of late into the game for a protagonist of any type of media to be so incredibly clueless. Yes, Catherine, I know. I'm trying to close out the episode before we have a look in the lockers and continue onwards, and that is what I'm going to do. We will continue on in Omicron in the next video. Thank you all so very much for watching, and I hope that I will see you next time.